when I look at the usual human experience, we have spiritual factors that are present with all people. Would any of us deny that? Like, God is present. God power is present in the human experience. We wouldn't be breathing. We'd be we're pushing up daisies if, if God power was not present in our human experience. So there's, there's God power, but what's missing? The mediating factor of consciousness. The medi mediating factor of consciousness so that the wholeness of the waters above, the, this activating power and the directing nature of that power that inspires us and moves us in creative direction. The whole of that can move us in a, in a creative direction, not just mixed up in the mud of the human experience so that we're feeling this activation in all kinds of different ways, feeling all kinds of different things, coming out with all kinds of different things, never staying on the one thing, the, the one pattern of the one reality and the expression of the one unfoldment of life because there's such chaos in the mud of, of human personality, human experience. So human experience that's, that's got, yes, spiritual factors there, but they're not mediated properly so that they can properly inspire, uplift, guide, and direct the human experience. Now, I, I invite you to think about your own experience, reflect on that, and reflect on the world that you're looking at every day. Is this not what is happening? It's happening at the individual level where we're doing the, the, the silent disco um, in whatever form where, where people are, are running some kind of pattern. They're activated, they're dancing, but the larger music ain't, ain't playing. They're not hearing the, the one music. And therefore, the creativity, the creative direction to be felt in that person's life isn't, isn't there to the degree that it could be. And then among us, what a, a mixture of experience. And there's this tremendous uh, tendency to fractionalize.